Hello everyone and welcome back to World Warship and to my channel. Today we have a huge pleasure to watch uh, this captain Zong Sen. Zong Sen will show you this beautiful premium ship, the Atlanta. Many of you guys probably would like to know how to play and uh, how should you play it correctly. Now this uh, map it's an uh, entry and it's a standard battle. Remember standard battle. There's no rush to get into the cap point and so on. So uh, I do believe that this standard battle it's more like take it easy and see uh, which side the enemy are and uh, you know how they uh, split each other and so on but I do like this map my uh, I do v very well in this map I don't know why but there's kind of a islands it's it's a lot of tactics you can go bold in the middle you can defend the your base a whole lot easier there's a lot of uh, ways to approach and believe me, I do believe that the team who figured out what the best way and which angle and which side is the best to approach is the one who's gonna win the game. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that it does fit Atlanta very well. There's a lot of coverage i'm talking about this side you see this huge rock remember that atlanta has a very high shells arc which basically here's folks if he's going right here in the middle and he's he can actually shoot above your your enemy but the enemy cannot shoot back because of the very high uh, rocks here on the island so to do well in uh, atlanta and that's my f uh, way to say it and in some part also the Royal Navy cruisers because Royal Navy cruisers have smoke yes they can do very fine but what happens when your uh, uh, smoke run up if you are completely open you are so dead because that thing I'm talking about Royal Navy cruiser are so light armor like Atlanta Atlanta of course does not have this luxury uh, smoke but you kind of have to play like a Royal Navy Cruiser, you have to know the position, because when I play my uh, Royal Navy Cruiser, I do s uh, search the spot that I pop the smoke. I don't go in the middle of nowhere and just pop the smoke, because when the smoke is gone, you are so dead. And something also remember, this is kind of a sad part about uh, Atlanta, it's the range. Detection 9.4, which is good, and main battery fire range 11.1. .1. For me, 11.1, .1, it's not kata. It's a, it's a joke. You really need to ambush people. You look like hunting uh, and stay very close. You see, when you're hunting with a rifle, you can stay far and snipe, right? But when you're hunting with a bow, yeah, that's right, folks. Some people, they are like to hunt with a bow. When you, you need to come much, much, much closer than a rifle, right? And this is the uh, same uh, type of uh, uh, hunting technique. You need to come close, very, very close. Uh, your max fire range is 11.1, .1, which is kind of uh, ridiculous. Remember, a uh, destroyer as a clansom at level 4, tier 4, has 10.5, and, and you as tier 7 only have 11.1. .1. I know you can buff with AFT much farther, but it's hard to hit anything uh, more than 11 or 12 kilometers. Now, 9.9, .9, it's workable we are uh, spotted and first fire on this Miyoko oh this Miyoko it's stuck man shoot back captain what the hell is doing oh I think he did wrong thing here uh, I do believe he was uh, not paying attention that this uh, Miyoko was stuck you know it's uh, yeah kind of kind of unfortunately wrong You should always punish your enemy when uh, they are stuck in the island, like, like this Miyoko, you see what I'm talking about? This, he, he has wrong type of... Uh, he should do a whole lot easier to this Miyoko. If we could just 
now maybe he see him. <laughs> kind of a, a late, if you ask me. Oh, he's still shooting at my hand. All right, that's interesting. Now he finally shoots. After five minutes, it fails. And when he was stuck, it would it would be a whole lot easier to finish him off with good looking AP shells. Well, but I do like when he what he's approaching here. He has cover. He can easily shoot above the rocks. And to do well in Atlanta, you kind of need those islands and rocks between you and enemies to do well. 12.3, we cannot shoot Mayhem because we have no, don't have the range. How ridiculous is that? But the enemy on the other side, they push hard. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Congo is almost to our cap. And New York, it's 12.5. We cannot engage it. Oh man, for, for me, it's a Oko because I don't know what should I say. 11.1 .1 for me, it's hard, hard, hard to um, adjust your gameplay so you can only now you can engage this New York. Okay, New York is two tier lower than you, battleship, but it can punish you hard if he will hit you because you have no armor whatsoever you're made of citadels and uh, very light you're almost like a cruiser very light cruiser like a really cruiser but new york tier 5 maybe he only played two or three hundred games maybe he's the uh, rich uh, tier 5 and of course the accuracy are not that great and my final thought it's a whole lot easier to do well when you're top tier versus your versus tier 8 or tier uh, 9 because to be honest with you at tier 9 Atlanta has very little to do. In matter of fact, and this is my personal opinion, some destroyer, hell, even some uh, Japanese destroyer, they can invisible fire, they are not raid over uh, Atlanta. Atlanta is a very scary uh, cruiser to, uh, to face if you are a uh, destroyer. But uh, if some destroyer they have so good concealment, which basically they can invisible fire, they can shoot to Atlanta, Atlanta cannot uh, return fire. But what Atlanta is very good at to put your enemy on fire at close range and you see how high in the water those shells are? I think we will punish this New York heavily and there's no more. Five fire so far, we receive very little damage. Hmm. Grab speed. Something also uh, I like to say about Grab P. Grab P is the worst uh, cruiser to face uh, versus destroy. Yes, folks, you heard me right. Thanks to the very few guns and to the rate of fire, I'm talking about 20 seconds reload, uh, the destroyer treats Grab P as a battleship. And don't get me wrong, she might hit and destroy a uh, destroyer, but this is my personal opinion, depending on what kind of destroyer you're facing. But if I'm playing with a, like, say, Russian destroyer or, hell, even a Polish destroyer, I don't fear Graf Speed that much, this is my personal opinion. I only have to uh, know my distance and I'm actually not afraid to engage that. Okay, Nurber, it's 4.6. Fast AP, you always change to AP when someone shows you Brosa because this is US AP. You see what happened with one single shell uh, salvo? We deleted this Nurbear. What I'm trying to say about Grab Shpi is that when I'm playing my uh, destroyers, 
with good concealment and with good speed I consider Graf Spee as a battleship I'm not afraid to charge him because one she tried to put let's say um, two salvos versus me that will take around 40 seconds in 46 seconds if a good uh, destroyer captain uh, can manage to put uh, several fires more than one to the uh, enemy grab speed so for me I'm very um, yeah that it's the least cruiser that I'm afraid of if you compare uh, Graf Spee with an, uh, another uh, destroyer like uh, Cleveland or uh, God forbid uh, Bugioni, that particular ships it's the absolute nightmare for uh, destroyers because those are so fast rate of fire you don't you don't you don't want to face with them you don't especially at close range you don't want to open fire almost never beside you when you're on smoke. But unfortunately, Graf Spee, it's those uh, uh, cruisers that they, in my opinion, they are treated uh, uh, like almost like a battleship. I know they are. S this is because of two things: reload of the guns and the speed. Most of the destroyer have so good speed that uh, Graf Spee cannot uh, disengage or just sailing away or run away. No, no, no. So, um, yeah. Folks, we are doing kind of a bad. It's 372 versus 453. Why? Because we are down by plane. There's two destroyers and three more ships. And there it's a... Uh, okay, apologize. Bugioni killed Ognevoi because that's Bugioni for you. In my opinion, Bugioni is the best tier 6 cruiser in this game no doubt about and she's even stronger right now in this patch with adrenalina rush and hp buff penetration which basically mean that in my opinion budioni is uh, stronger than ever now we are facing almost a full hp pensacola at 10.3 all right see what's happened going on here we have to, uh, yeah, bow on. You see how this captain is it's in, inversing this uh, Pensacola? He is bow on. So don't uh, show you ever your brow side. Not to Pensacola or any other cruiser. Yes, that's hurt. The rate of fire is just amazing. And folks, Mayhan, it's also showing. So now it's two versus one. Two versus one, folks. Okay, this is intense. Pensacola shooting, Mayhem is shooting. Alright. That's the way to go. Okay, we receive a huge damn hit over here. Uh, I think you should change to HE, no AP, I mean. Oh man, I think we will go down here. This is. Okay, but we have AP ready and 7002 torpedo hits. And now we have to change back. Okay, this could go bad. 4800 with AP. That was a very good scout salvo. But we killed the destroyer, and that's the end, folks. Thanks for watching.